Welcome to the Secret Life of Artifacts. Um, a lot of people wonder what they can donate to the museum and what will happen to their donation. We collect objects, identified photographs, documents, and more related to Westerville history and Prohibition history. We would love to save everything, um, but unfortunately, um, we do have to set some priorities. We do this because we want to make sure we have the staff time, storage space, um, and resources necessary so we can preserve everything that we accept to the absolute best of our ability. If you want to donate something to us, uh, all you have to do is bring it into the museum and we'll have you fill out a donation form. After you've donated your item, it comes to this room while it's waiting to be cataloged. Cataloging is the process that, that enables us to keyword search the collection and track what we have. We enter information about each object into a computer database, a description of what it is, the years it was made or used, the condition that it's in, and any person, place, organization, or event that's affiliated with it. When we catalog, we try to ask ourselves, okay, what words do we think um, someone will use if they're uh, trying to look up something that's related to this item? We also assign everything a number to help track items as they move throughout the museum and exhibits. After an item is cataloged, we make sure it's properly stored using materials that will help slow down the rate of deterioration. Then we place it on the shelves according to its subject and catalog number, and we update its location in the database. As you can see, we have a lot of artifacts in storage, and only a small percentage of the collection is out on exhibit at any one time. That's one of the reasons why we switch out exhibits so often. Um, but even if it's not on display, that doesn't mean that your donation is just sitting up here all alone gathering dust. Uh, we use the entire collection regularly to um, do research for future exhibits, um, tours, presentations, social media posts, and interviews with news outlets. The public is also welcome to come in and research any of our collections. And all of this is made possible um, through donations by people like you who have a passion for history and want it to be accessible for everyone. Thanks for watching and reach out to us if you have something that you would like to donate.